It's, a, it's an interesting one being put on pause, I suppose, when we felt we were in a, a good place after the first couple of rounds. Um, but, you know, we've got to deal with it at the moment. It's not just us. I guess um, rugby takes a back seat to, to a world crisis at the moment. So we've just got to deal with it the best way we can and um, prepare for the summer now, really, until we get some confirmation on those dates. We actually looked at it now and, and we've been able to replicate what we'll get in September around uh, playing two games in a row, having a week off and then playing that uh, last game which will happen in September and so we're quite happy with the way that happened um, at the start of the Six Nations and we spoke about having a goal of three home wins where um, we got the first two and obviously things have been taken out of our hands on that third one so um, we're quite happy with that progression and then we spoke about when going away certainly to England and France of being competitive and really being able to put them under pressure and make things as difficult as possible. So um, if we look at those three games and what we achieved, we're, we feel we're on the right track moving forward. With the game being called off, we found it was a good opportunity to still bring the team in. Um, and what we we're going to be able to do this week is still train together and, and really put a review together of the last six months. Um, we've obviously had a, a scenario where we went through to the November test match against Wales as well. So we'll be able to use this week to take some time and sit down with players on an individual basis, uh, review their season what they can look to work on throughout the summer and into those months coming into the qualifiers. So uh, even though we don't have the game, it's still going to be a good weekend's work where we can um, really make sure that the players have complete clarity of what they need to do moving forward. So once we've had our reviews and, and of the players and their information, they go back to their clubs now. So um, they'll get to go into the AAL again and obviously there'll be finals rugby as well that they'll hopefully be competing in. So um, release fully back to the clubs, put the work in there and then we'll select the side um, for the summer months and the summer campaign.